Welcome to the video on writing operational definitions. Operational definitions define a concept on the basis of the specific operations used for measurement. They specify the properties of an observation that are required to assert the presence or absence of the condition. In other words, defining a concept based on how you will measure it. Generally, operational definitions should be objective, clear, and complete. A definition is objective when it refers to observable characteristics of the behavior or to events that can be observed. For example, we might look at the duration that a child falls to the floor, kicks, and screams as an operational definition of a tantrum. A definition is clear when it is unambiguous so that it could be repeated or paraphrased by an observer or someone unfamiliar with the measure. For example, a tantrum could include any time the child falls to the floor, kicks and screams in response to a comment from his or her mother at the grocery store. A definition is complete when it delineates the boundary conditions that are needed to identify included and excluded responses. For example, not included in a tantrum is a raised voice that is part of an expression of disappointment to a denied request which lasts less than a minute without the behavior stated previously. Definitions can be function-based, meaning the responses are identified by their effect on the environment. For example, a dog can be said to have responded to the command, go to bed, if he is seated on his bed, no matter if he ran or walked to the location. Definitions can also be topography-based, where responses are identified by the shape or form of the behavior. Topography may be relevant when undesirable forms sometimes produce favorable outcomes. For example, a basketball player's poor form might result in a basket, making it better to define a correct shot by the position and movement of the player. You can test your operational definition by asking three questions. Can you count the number of times or the duration the behavior occurs? Yes. Will a stranger know what to look for? Yes. Can you break the response into smaller components? No. Questions? Email me at nneal at uwo.ca.